you wanted him stitch. Is that who you really wanted? You sure about that? Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater is known by many as the definitive Metal Gear experience. Part 2. After we took down the pain, we exit the cave and traverse through a swamp with weird guys piloting floating segways and come across a warehouse. This warehouse has some goodies inside of it, along with a few guards, which I alerted a couple times. Who's that? What's going on? HQ, please respond. We then find the lab that we've been looking for. Granini Gorky. Hello, sir. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck. No witnesses. Thank you. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. Sokolov isn't inside, but another scientist with some cool shoes tells us where to go next, and he gives us a key for the locked door in the warehouse. We then backtrack to the warehouse, and everything seems to be going alright, until we run into the fear, the second Cobra that we fight in the game. Yeah, 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 we've seen this cutscene. He uses his poison crossbow and stealth camouflage to attack us. A great part of Metal Gear Solid 3's boss fights is that you are rewarded for thinking outside of the box. One example of this is that in the fight with the fear, you can use thermal goggles to easily track him down without having to squint your eyes at your monitor. You can also lay out poisonous food in the arena that the fear will eat if he loses enough stamina. Oh, dickhead! What? What do you want? Snake, you've been caught in a snare trap? Oh my god! What the f- No! Oh, so Get out the fucking way! Oh my god, Snake, you're a fucking- you... Get the fuck off me! Finally! After the fear explodes into a cloud of poisonous arrows, we head through to our next Cobra boss fight, this time with the end, a comically old man who is known to be the father of modern sniping. The focal point of this fight is stealth. You have to sneak up on the end without him noticing you to deal damage to him. This fight also rewards the player for being smart and thinking outside the typical video game logic. One way of taking down the end is to simply just outlive him. If you save your game in the middle of the fight, and then come back a week later, he'll just die of old age, and you don't have to run around shooting him with SVD. Oh! Look! Oh, fuck sake. Started. Seriously? Oh, 
It's my aim, that shit. There we go. Hold on. Yay, we killed Lincoln Parks in the end. Spirit. I have no regrets. I can return to the forum. Why does everyone keep fucking exploding? Anyway, once you defeat the end, he spits out his dentures and explodes. Alright, now we get to the best part of the game, the ladder scene. We get a whopping two minutes of exhilarating ladder climbing before we head into the mountains to meet up with Eva again. Damn ladder. Finally! Oh, let's go with an RPG just chilling there. I don't think I like that. HQ, please respond. HQ. Ow, Patrol fuck. Here. We're being attacked. Enemy position. Ah. Ow. Oh. Oh no, it's doing a party. Oh. Alright, now I'm actually gonna try to sneak around this time. Because I feel like if I sneak around, I won't die as much. Do I have any better camouflage though? Oh, he can't even see me. What an idiot. What? Did I seriously fucking miss that? Oh. Oh, my dick is bleeding. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta heal that. Oh, there's a mountain turret up there. I could use that to take down the, uh, the Apache. If that is an Apache, I don't know if that's an Apache or not. It kind of looks like an Apache. I really want to see if I can just like. Sniped it. Ah, fuck. Take it down, snake. Put that thing in the ground. Yeah. Oh, what a stupid idiot. 
Isn't this where I'm supposed to meet uh, Eva? Snake meets up with Eva, and we get our next objective, which is to sneak into Grozny Grad disguised as Major Rykov and rescue Sokolov. But before we can get there, we run into the fourth and final alive Cobra, the Fury. The Fury uses fire to try to kill Snake, but we take him out with ease. Around. What we go up to? What the bugger? Nah. Ow, fuck! Nah. Snake! This guy's a pain. Oh, finally. Alright. Not as much as a pain as um the end. Oh, he's gonna blow up, isn't he? He's gonna Got fucking... To live on. Is that me or Snake screaming? Nah, it's... Oh. Is that me or him screaming? Yeah, dude, the chest on the top. Behold, the flame of fury. The fires of hell will purge me. Pretty sure he's dead. Oh well, if he wasn't then, he probably is now. Yeah. Unless this is like a second stage of the boss fight, maybe. What the fuck? Alright, no turning back. He explodes like they always do, and we arrive at Grozny Grad. Maybe I should have taken us undies too, just in case. There we go, yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah, now we're gaming, dude. Now we're gaming. We're gaming on the highest level. Sir. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, 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 suckers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't know who I am. I'm solid. I'm... No, that is not for sake. I'm big. What? Why is he grabbing my man meat? Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. Dude, why's your kneecap? Stay out of this! Despite our best efforts at playing dress-up, Colonel Volgan sees or feels right through our disguise. We get our shit kicked in, tortured, partially handicapped, and eventually locked up in the Russian base. Huh? Who's that? Seriously? Yeah, we made it down the sewers. We make our way out, and just when we think we've made it, Ocelot shows up and forgets how revolvers work, and Snake just jumps into a river. Snake is sent into Purgatory, where the Sorrow, a former member of the Cobras, shows us all the lives we've taken along our journey. Sad. So sad. A host of sorrows. Like you, I too am filled with sadness. 
This, this scene varies in difficulty depending on how many soldiers you've killed in your playthrough. So I was struggling to get by the hundreds of little ghost soldiers. Now after you touch your body in the river, you're supposed to use your revive pill on the death screen. And I didn't know this, so I had to repeat the long ass walking section until I found out what to do. Yeah, see? I just die. Oh wait, let me just wake up. Snake wakes up from his nightmare. And finds Ava again, who has all our gear and an eye patch for our now missing right eye. We must go back into Volgan's clubhouse and destroy the Shagahod by placing C3 on the fuel tanks and blowing up the base. What's up? Alright, alright, here's the other one. Ah, oh, what is it? What do you want? Yay, we did it. We set the C3 up. He likes butterflies. Anyway. Got you this time. This all goes according to plan until we get called out by Volgan and then beaten up by the boss for what feels like the hundredth time by now. We get some explanation on the Philosopher's Legacy and its importance to the story before we get our first proper fight with the Colonel. Volgan uses his wizard magic thunder spells to attack us and blow up our guns if we're holding one. So the fight can be a little frustrating at times. Oh, finally. <coughs> Shoot him! Do you hear me? I said shoot him! Sorry, Colonel. I'm afraid I can't do that. What do you mean you can't? I made a promise to the boss. Silence! Well, hurry up, it's like a minute till the bombs go off. Fight like a man, Volgan. I'm like, I'm, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Finally! Damn! Get out of there, snake! We eventually defeat him before the bombs in the warehouse go off and we get into a bike with Ava and go on this on the rail shooting gallery type section where we fire infinite ammo at the soldiers and the Shagahod. The Shagahod isn't even phased when we blow it up into a pit. Why did you tell me to fucking shoot then? Oh my god. I, did I blow it up? Last of the way, go. Snake and Ava finally disable the Shagahod, but Vulcan hops out and tries to ratatouille the tank before getting struck by lightning. An ironic end to an iconic villain. Ava crashes the bends, and we have to escort a crippled Ava to the exfiltration point. But come back in one piece, okay? One piece. Can we get much higher? When we get there, 
we have to face our former mentor, a moment that has been teased since the start of the operation. All of our fights with the Cobras, Colonel Volgan, Ocelot and the hundreds of Soviet soldiers along the way have just been training us for this final battle. The boss gives us a heartfelt speech to us, telling Snake her story and what must happen now. We must fight the boss. Whoever lives will inherit the title of boss and a life of endless battle. We have 10 minutes to take the boss down using all the skills and weapons we've accumulated over the course of the game. 10 minutes to show the boss what we're made of. I'll give you 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, MiGs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. If you can beat me in less than 10 minutes, you'll be able to escape in time. Let's make this the greatest 10 minutes of our lives, Jack. Boss. You're a soldier. Finish your mission. Prove your loyalty. Face me. Seriously? I'm not gonna beat her. I'm not gonna beat her, dude. I'm not gonna beat her. I can't beat her! I can't fucking beat her, dude. Brace yourself. Get the fuck away from me! Ah, uh, no, she's gonna break my fucking AK again! Oh my god, the fucking camera! Finally! After our final and toughest battle, Snake finishes off the boss and climbs into the wig. Just when we think it's over, Ocelot makes his final appearance and boards our plane on a space segway. We have one more fight with him, he jumps out of the plane and the game has ended. You are above even the boss. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. You are a true patriot. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. And then we get the famous scene where Snake pays his respects at the boss's grave. And that's it. That is Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I had a lot of fun with this game, and I'm sure you will too, if you decide to play it. And here are my stats from the end of my playthrough, in case you were curious. And that's about it. See ya. When you can't even say my name. Has the memory gone? Are you feeling numb? Go on, call my name. I can't play 